we got some equipment failure that we need to go do some work with. Let's go get those things fixed. This is on a 80, 90 pound washer, something like that, Milner. This valve right here, they said, hey man, we tried to fix this, you know, we ordered a rebuild kit for it and put it in and it still ain't working and da da da. So we're gonna replace the whole valve. You know, they said, can you get us a valve? Can you come fix it, get it going for us? That's what we're gonna be doing here today. Now, both of these, basically same kind of three quarter inch line here, minus the back one. Uh, this one's the main problem. So we're gonna be removing it and getting it replaced for them. So well, we'll break up the universal kit by gear wrench here. And we'll be trying it out. We're going to try out our spline drive wrench right here, universal from gear wrench, and uh, get a hold of these big square fasteners right here. Get our solenoid off the top of this here. Alright, Betsy's gonna have to be turned a little bit. Well, we got some clearance. Yep. Clearance on her. Oh yeah, that'll give us what we need. I know everybody likes the Nipex name brand, but uh, you know, like I said, I ain't got no Nipex. Wouldn't mind trying them out. They probably are some really good quality tools. But ten watts, what I got in stores near me. Matter of fact, these right here, I think, was my dad's when he worked in the coal mines. And they're probably as old as I am. So they're, they're definitely, definitely good quality tools for any type of industrial tradesman out here. They're nice and durable. Okay, so on the way off here, we do got a new one of these. This one probably still works perfectly fine, to be quite honest with you. It's one of those deals. We got a new one, so we will go ahead and put a new one in place. Right there right here this one's a little bit rusty go ahead and give you an up close look while I'm taking all this stuff off here at this point in time now we got our three quarter inch pipe off of this one we got to get our actual water valve off here got our solenoid off so we're going to take the cap on this off that way we can get a good hold on this and twist it and if that don't come out we'll just take the whole pipe out but either way we got the top off of this we'll be able to get to it a lot easier okay we got our cobalt torx right here this is a t25 and of course our old gear wrench old faithful right here ever since i bought that little set right there i tell you what i wore these little gear wrench ratchets out and they have been perfectly fine you, you can tell this has been through some hell and back. They don't ever want to make anything. It's easy. Twist a few pipes, turn it off. They're always going to make it a little bit complicated. Now, if you ever had to take one of these apart, just beware because there's a spring in it and your parts go flying everywhere. Okay, pipe ain't too bad or we'd have to change it too. Another thing anybody could do is take the two supports off on this lower end also and then you can pull this whole thing out of here. It will loosen up to where you can kind of flex it back and forth if you need to. Eventually, I will invest in a GoPro. I just ain't in that position where I can do it right now. When I do, anybody out there who needs help working on these types of industrial machines, I'll try to make some how-to do-it-yourself videos along the way at certain facilities I'm allowed to record at. Maybe it'll help somebody else out. Now, you can just kind of pull it out if you do it that way, even one-handed right here. Maneuver it back and forth until you, of course, hit the fastener on this one down here. 
that might be your problem. That's easy to do. Take my little universal set here, my gear wrench. We'll get her loosened up. Alright, now we got her where we want her at right here. We're gonna go ahead, put our brackets back on, and then get our pipes reassembled. screw and go ahead and replace this solenoid here since the new one come with it all right first thing got to do is take out this little four-way screw right here and then you can unplug this right there we go now upon inspecting this wire right here i mean chances are it's it's still running you know you can put the meter on it and it's still sending the juice that it should be but given that it's already a little bit brown right there we might go ahead and change this entire wire that way we ain't got to worry about it. We ain't got to come back in just a few months and have to do it all over again over something simple. Plus I did order the wire and harness with it. We will go ahead and slide our brand new one on here. And go ahead and get it good and ready to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of our brackets back on here and then we'll have to take the back cover off just to get to these wires to be able to plug them in. We're trying out the gear wrench universal still and these things are still nice and handy. Especially whenever you gotta deal with the four points. Now all this is hooked back up. All we gotta do is get this wire and harness hooked back up. Loosen this nut up. We're gonna take this cover off here. We got us a few 9 16 bolts. We're gonna get them loosened up. Then this job will be ready for them at least until they decide they want to go ahead and replace the other valve which I'm assuming that'll be next considering we done one we know the other one's coming all right we got our lower cover off motor you got your big tub wheel and uh, this old cardboard here is just I mean, it's, it's destroyed, so they might as well go ahead and move that completely out of the way. And then, here's where everything is. You got your PCs, your relays, your contactors, your vibration switch, you know, the whole nine yards. That basically runs this entire machine. And then we got our little wires that comes right through there that we're going to be tracking down here. You know, you got your computer system here, the V1000. And hallelujah, they left the instructions for people like me if I need to get into this, figure out some wiring diagrams, things like that. I love it when they leave the information in there. Definitely something that I do recommend, and I do tell people this. I offer my services to come in, give them a recommendation on their machines, try to tell them a preventive maintenance schedule, stuff like that, you know? Because things like this have to be cleaned out periodically. They have to be took care of. If not, your machine's going to burn up, going to burn out, and then you're going to be sitting here asking yourself, what's my machine tore up? Well, you're supposed to service things like this. There's a little fan inside there. This is supposed to be serviced on a routine maintenance schedule. And if you don't have a routine maintenance schedule, you're just shooting yourself in the foot. That's all that is. You know, it's like these bearings take oil. You are supposed to add oil to these things, you know, every so often and take care of them. And you can tell on this board right here, there's been some issues. You see little black spots right there where something's kind of got hot. I mean, if they would clean this out ever so often, it don't take much. Once a year, people. Once every six months. Have a maintenance guy come in, take apart, you know, all your washers, do your dryers, do your other machines, your folding shit, whatever the case may be, and take care of your equipment. That Take care of it. And it'll last longer. Trust me. Take off this little nut here. Got to cut all of your tie straps. That way we'll be able to get in behind it here. Feed this wire out. You know, replace the other one. Take one out, put one in. Right now, as you can see here, there's like a hole that you can put your hand in. And right in behind there is where that wire feeds in at. And generally, whenever they get everything wired together, you know, you put your nut caps and all that stuff on there. 
you're gonna stick it inside this hole and that's where we're gonna be reaching back in pulling it out of as always before you work on electrical make sure the damn breakers turned off of it because you really truly can't trust somebody without getting electrocuted been there done that and not so fun all right i got all that stuff wired up while i had my phone charge up for a little bit now we're gonna put this cover back on get everything back together again and move on to the next one and check this out i'm still using the little impact that i reviewed a while back And there you go, there's a few of the tools in action doing real world repairs that I have reviewed on this channel. You don't see that on a lot of channels. And if you do see this on other channels, well then they're probably going to tell you what they think from their professional opinion because they are at least using it in a professional capacity and they'll be able to give you an accurate result on the tool's capabilities as opposed to these other channels. just want to thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I would much appreciate it if you'd pop the clutch on that subscribe button. Comment in the description box below. You can go check me out on Instagram. I also got a Facebook page if you want to keep up with some of the things that I'm doing. Some I'll post pictures over there all the time, show you these tools in action. Plus, you'll get to see some of the different stuff I'm working on that i can't always record i do got another company that hollered at me said they want me to come in and change a few valves so we'll do that video up next plus i got a washer coming up waiting for some parts to come in we're going to be going and changing a bearing on a little small milner washer also we got a bunch of different things lined up i've got boiler repairs lined up air compressor repairs lined up washer repairs dryer repairs i also got automotive repairs lined up i am a very busy individual so i haven't had that much time to actually sit down and do some good detailed tool reviews but believe me i got a whole lot of stuff coming. I've already got several different videos recorded. I've just got to get them pieced together and get them put out here for you. And I'm talking about SunX, DeWalt, GearWrench, Craftsman, Astro Pneumatic, and much more. Anyhow, I just want to encourage everybody to go out here, grab yourself some tools, and make being a tradesman great again.